Five, the discourse about Upalavanna. Thus I have heard. At one time the gracious one was dwelling near Sarvati at Anatta Pindika's grounds in Jata's wood. Then the nun Upalavanna, having dressed in the morning time, after picking up her bowl and robe, was entering Sarvati for alms. After walking for alms in Sarvati and returning from the alms round after the meal, she approached the blind man's wood to pass the day. And having entered blind man's wood, she stood at the root of a sala tree in full flower. Then the wicked Mara, desiring to give rise to fear, terror and horror in the nun Upalavanna, desiring to drive her out of concentration, approached the nun Upalavanna, and after approaching he addressed the nun Upalavanna with a verse. Approaching a tree blossoming from the top nun, you stay alone at the root of the sala tree. You are second to none in your beautiful form. Young woman, are you not afraid of the scoundrels? Then it occurred to the nun Upalavanna, Who is this, a human or a non-human speaking this verse? Then it occurred to the nun Upalavanna, This is the wicked Mara, desiring to give rise to fear, terror and horror in me, desiring to drive me out of concentration who speaks this verse. Then the nun Upalavanna, having understood this is the wicked Mara, replied with these verses to the wicked Mara, Even if a hundred thousand scoundrels of such a character were to come here, not a body hair would shake or tremble. Even alone I am not afraid, Mara. I will disappear completely, or I will enter your stomach. I will stand between your eyelashes, even there you will not see me. I have mastery over my mind, the powers are well developed, I am free of all bondages, I am not afraid of you, friend. Then the wicked Mara thought, the nun Upalavanna knows me, and pained and depressed, he vanished right there.